Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter, and we're bringing you the latest in ophthalmology and eye care. And this week, it's just been announced that there is a new toric lens implant available in the United States for the use with cataract surgery. This lens is called the Technus Toric Lens. It's made by AMO, and it's just been released, and I thought it'd be a great time to share with you the benefits and the ways that we can correct astigmatism at the time of cataract surgery. Uh, lens implants are one of the main ways. The other primary way is with relaxing incisions in the cornea, which can help lower the astigmatism. I'd like to cover that more in the next episode of A State of Sight. But today, for the lens implant options, these are good for people that have regular astigmatism. And if you look back to A State of Sight number seven, you can find more details about astigmatism. But basically, it's where the eye is not curved completely round. It's curved more in one direction than the other. This can be corrected in glasses or contacts, but for people where it's been stable and regular over time, we can now correct it at the time of cataract surgery because then they won't need to have it corrected in the glasses afterwards and can see better without the glasses or contacts. So, in order to do this, we have to take several extra steps, both before and during surgery, to ensure that it works the best for the patient. So first, we will take maps or topography of the cornea, which show the curvature, and in many colors illustrate where that astigmatism is, the shape of it, and also the degree of it. And then we'll also take other measurements, uh, including measuring the curvature with what we call keratometry, and then with another instrument that helps us measure more information about the eye and make the final plan for the lens implant. So putting all of this together, then we can decide if the patient is a candidate for the lens implant and then which one would work best for them. Now, luckily for us, recently Doug Koch from Baylor in Houston has done a lot of research into these lenses and how they work best and what power we need to use in them and the calculations have been drastically improved even in the past year. So that's currently the formulas we're using now to decide which one to put in the patient's eye. And then at the time of surgery, we have to make sure that they're oriented exactly in the right direction. Because like you know, astigmatism can be in one particular angle and we have to line up the lens implant exactly in that spot during surgery. There's a couple different steps we take to do this to ensure that we measure and mark appropriately. But then once we have that lens implant in the right place, it's giving extra power in that direction and helping improve the vision. So afterwards, these lenses have been shown to be very stable and steady without rotating over time. And the patients have generally been very pleased with them. So, if you have any questions about toric lens implants or you're thinking about these type of lens implants for your cataract surgery, please post. We'd be happy to answer your questions. And then we hope to see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.